So welcome back to the channel. This little video is going to be on the Vessel multi-bit ball driver. As part of my job around the back of the motor control centres, there's just panel after panel after panel. I'll put some pictures up in this one. You can see just the row of the panels there and then a close-up of some of the screws there. They are predominantly the Phillips head screws that you see here. Uh, over time these obviously get damaged or dropped uh, and lost and uh, they end up being replaced with these PosiDrive versions. Uh, you also see these a lot in 19 inch racking panels as well. What I use at the moment is this Bako screwdriver at the back here. This is a number 3 uh, PosiDrive here. Insulated one VDU on this one, um, although it doesn't need to be VDU for what I'm using it for. So I thought I'd replace it with this Vessel ball driver here. Now Vessel are from Japan. I first saw these ball driver screwdrivers on the Tooligans YouTube channel. I'll stick a link to his videos down below in the description. And he had the VDE version of the screwdrivers. Um, I, for my application I don't need that. So I just went for this multi-bit unit here. Uh, it comes in a blister packet uh, with... Uh, the card in here showing the three sets of bits that it comes with. Um, some instructions if you can make them out on the back there. Um, but it does come with three bits here. A number one Phillips, a number three Phillips, a number two Phillips, a number three Posi, a number, oh big pardon, that's a number two Posi and the number three Posi there and then the number two Phillips is over here along with a 6mm uh, slotted there. So for my application I predominantly use these two here. Uh, for me it would have been nice if I could have had a bit with a number 3 Phillips and a number 3 Posi on it. Uh, I might actually try and make myself one up over time. So in terms of the bits um, they are standard hex bit quarter hex bit drive. Uh, they just slide into the handle here and held in place. It looks like there's a little bit of a gripper inside the handle here that holds it. It's not magnetic at all. Um, you can feel there is a little bit of play. Uh, let's see if I can perhaps get some close-ups. Um, certainly side to side it does play a little bit. Um, there is no play rotational wise with these bits on he says. No with these bits they're okay. Uh, so the bits are magnetic so they will pick and hold up a screw a little bit, but they're not a very strong magnet. Uh, he says it'll um, they'll hold like that. Uh, but when you say, if you're very gentle, they will hold. Um, but slightest of movement, uh, it does fall off. So a bit limited in that manner. Um, they are pretty much the same. This is the posi end. And you see, it's. Uh, doesn't take much to knock the screw out, so it's not the strongest of magnetic uh, bits. Um, the handle inside, as I say, it's, it's got some sort of a gripper that holds this in place, but the, the bit driver here is not steel. I don't know what kind of metal it is. It's, uh, you see, if I get my o light torches have magnets in them, so you can see my screw goes on there. And you can see it doesn't uh, take to the, the handle at all. Um, my only concern is if that's a little bit softer and what the longevity of it will be or whether it will start to wear. Uh, and the other thing that I have noticed with this, um, so the gripper, I'll see if I can get a close-up shot of the gripper, but you can see on some of these bits it's, it starts to slide up, but you can see it rubs off on the, the markings that are there. It doesn't affect the operation of it at all. You know, just for me, it just detracts very slightly from the quality. Uh, it only does it in the one position. So the gripper is uh, over this side. It's opposite the labelling there. So some of them seem to be okay. Others it seems to have rubbed off. So you can see here on this bit, it started to rub off the number two here and the number three uh, at this end. Whereas on uh, this one here, you see they're all uh, fine. There's no damage to any of the markings. Yeah, so the other issue, of course, is the actual length that you see of the bits here. Um, you lose an awful lot of length 
um, when you're using this. That's not the end of the world. It's small and compact, neat to, to put in the tool bag. Uh, so I like it for that. But there are some occasions where I've got some screws embedded underneath shields that need to be accessed. And this one will reach that easy enough. Um, again, I'll put some pictures up to show you see how this one can reach right in, underneath the guard and get to the screw. Whereas when I use this one, um, it puts it off to an angle, which is a surefire way of coming out and damaging a Phillips screw head or a posi screw head. Um, I can get around that. Um, I've got some long series hex bits here um, because it's a standard quarter inch hex drive that fits in all okay. So you can use it for that easy enough and you can get around with that as you can see in the next picture that I put up. It's then long enough to, to access the screw underneath the shielding. Now whilst this is a standard hex bit drive you do need a certain length of hex bit to make use of it. Um, this is the smallest that you can probably use. These are the 50mm series. Uh, yeah, so these are 2 inch length, 50mm. Uh, um, if I put that in there, you can see that pretty much uses out. The, the standard short shank ones just won't fit in this. You'll lose them inside the handle and you'll probably get in quite a mess, I would imagine. But even as it sits, with this bit it's still a bit longer than a, a dumpy screwdriver you see there on the left uh, not much in it probably very similar to the VHAR Slim Vario dumpy overall in length but you can use lots of other standard hex bits so you can get these socket bits that are in there and you can have a little nut spinner if you want um, further adaptation of that you can use uh, an adapter uh, that's actually a 3 8 one, but you can get them in quarter drive as well, and then you can put a socket on the end or a deep socket uh, and use it like that. Um, if you do want to use the small bits, you can also use a bit holder. Uh, that also goes in there. And finally, I've also used it. I've got a series of drill bits that have got the hex drive on them as well, uh, and they fit in there. You can use them as a hand drill if you want to clean out a hole or... Uh, quite good for deburring if you've got uh, a larger drill bit in there. Okay, so there you have it. That's the vessel. It's actually the 220W ball driver. Uh, they do it in two versions. Uh, I've got the black version there. They also do it with a blue and grey handle driver. Uh, and they have the standard steel coloured bits such as these. Uh, then instead of the black bits that, that I've got there. Uh, in the UK I actually got this from Amazon. It was around about £20. Uh, you can find them on eBay uh, as well sometimes. And there is an actual dealer in the UK for vessel screwdrivers as well. I'll stick a link to them in the description below. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. And I'll see you again in the next one.